हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशोहा प्रोफेसर इन द वी सी सी स्कॉस जम्मू आर एस पुरम वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन हॉर फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन सो टूडे वी हैव अ केस विच इज रिफर्ड फ्रॉम द मेडिसिन फॉर द अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी सो द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस केस इज दैट दिस एनिमल इज नॉट ईटिंग फ्रॉम द लास्ट थ्री डेज एंड एनिमल इज ऑल्सो नॉट पासिंग प्रॉपर फीसेस फ्रॉम द लास्ट टू डेज एंड हैड द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द फीवर ऑल्सो and when we palpated here so here in the left hypochondric region and up to this region there is a hard mass here when we palpated so here we find the hard mass upon radiography there is also a suspicion of the splenic mass so based on the radiographic finding and the physical examination uh, we diagnose this case tentatively as a splenic uh, tumor so now we are going to perform the ultrasonography this is the micro convex uh, transducer so if you see here so there is a soft tissue uh, incomplete is here and uh, this one is the if you see here so this is the left lateral lobe of the liver so left lateral lobe of the liver is appears normal Now you can see this is the this hard mass. This now my transducer is towards the right hypochondric region. So now you can see here. So this is the position of the transducer here, and you can see the different structure which are visible on the monitor. So now you can see this is the gall bladder. Gall bladder is visible here. So this is the gall bladder. If you go down, so you could see here. So this is the right kidney. So this one is the right kidney. So part of the linear fixation is clear. The picture will be more clear when we scan with the linear transducer. So the size of the this kidney is appears normal. This is the quadrant lobe, which is attached with the this kidney, right kidney. Liver uh, is appears to be normal. So now you can see here. So now see the position of the transducer. So this one is the position of the transducer towards this left side. And now you could see this transducer is immediately over the hard mass. So you could see here. So this is the echogenic, rather soft tissue echogenicity. So now the here the intention is to see the which structure it is. Yeah, which structure it is and from where it is originating. So that is our intention. Because the this hard mass was quite clear upon physical examination, and upon radiography, it is clear that it is basically originating from the spleen. So now you can see here. So this is the spleen. So spleen is here and it is. Appears that it is arising from the spleen. Yes, it is arising. Now we can see this is the splenic parenchyma and this originating from the. So this is the micro convex transducer. That's why it is very difficult to see the things clear. This is the left kidney, and you could see just. Cranial to the this left kidney, you could see the spleen. So this one is the left kidney and this one is the spleen. So kidney, both kidneys are appears to be normal in shape and size, and corpulmentary uh, differentiation is normal. So here you could see this is the spleen, the spleen, spleen. Now we are going towards the head of the spleen. So you now you could see so there is a, this this mass. So this mass is. Appears to be arising from the spleen. So there is a strong, you can say, evidence that this tumor is of spleen tumor. So now we have changed the transducer. So this is the 7.5 megahertz uh, linear transducer. Now you could see here. So this is the structure. This is the hard mass. See here. 
now we could see the visibility of the heart mass. So this is the mixture of the you can say hyperechoic and then the depogeny and the soft tissue luminosity. Now you could see. So this is the spleen. So this is the origin of the spleen and you could see very clearly that this mass is definitely originating from the, from the head of the spleen. So this is the Now you can see here. Let me freeze the. Yes. Now you could see. So this is the screen and this is the tumor. And it is in continuation. So now you could see here the blood vessels. This is the splenic parenchyma. This is the splenic parenchyma. The below the, you could see the right now the kidney which is very clear. I mean, I mean, now you could differentiate, you can appreciate that how beautifully the kidney is looking <coughs> on the with the linear transition. This is the cortex, medulla, differentiation is good. This one is the highest of the, this screen, this person's. You can see the missed kidney, left kidney. So left kidney is good. Supply is also good. So if you go down over the urine bladder, now you could see this in the urine bladder. It's filled with the urine, that's why it is looking uh, anechoic. So in the urine bladder, we see for the any interesting salary, which is indicative of the Live material, there is no such type of image formation. And moreover, as per history, there is no problem in the emission also. So, here we find that this is the all this is the pollen area. Here we find the gas. So, we need data to go here. So, you can see here this is the prostate. This is the prostate. This one is the prostate, this one is the prostate. 